been a very soggy July, as you know, and with more rain on the way, the soggy level could really soar. We may even challenge some records. But for one business, rain is good. Real good. WFMZ's Joy Howe reports. To most of us, this sounds beautiful. To the people who work on this river, it's this sound they love to hear. Pray for rain. That's the mantra of kayakers and paddlers. Jerry McElwar took over Jim Thorpe River Adventures 10 years ago, moving away from a busy life in Long Island to a peaceful one teaching kayaking skills. And serving up a daily rush of rafting adventures. Watching people um, enjoy this and get something out of it has fueled me for many years now. This fuels him, but it's the rain that fuels the river. And this year, both their tanks are full. The water is just kicking. This has been the eighth wettest July on record. If you have a big front lawn, you wish it would probably stop raining a little bit. But I, for us, it's, I've called this rain liquid sunshine because it's it makes uh, it makes everyone happy. And the good news keeps trickling in. The Army Corps of Engineers has decided to release extra water from a dam upstream every weekend from now until Labor Day Sunday, making for some great river adventures. And there's even more good news around the bend. Jim Thorpe River Adventures will open a brand new building this fall that will provide even more adventures. So with that. And this, it appears things for Jerry are flowing in the right direction. The past couple of weekends, we've had people just run off the buses with their arms in the air. If you're interested in paddling a river anywhere, if you've ever thought about it or you've done it before, this is the year to do it. In Jim Thorpe, Joy Hall, 69 News. I like how he put it, the river's kicking. Uh, we're getting a lot of rain. It's gonna